For those of you that didn't follow the YZ300 build series, I'm going to catch you up to speed. I bought a pair of YZ250s from my buddy Danny back in March of 2022. I did some part swapping before getting one running and selling it, and then I decided to build the ultimate YZ300 electric start woods bike that would go to one lucky winner when it was finished. 500 people entered to win the bike, and Trenton from Wisconsin was randomly selected as that one lucky winner on May 31st. I gave Trenton the option to have me deliver the bike to Wisconsin or to come out to Montana to ride the bike and then bring it home. Trenton decided he didn't want to miss the opportunity to come experience this beautiful place. After sorting out some logistics, I flew Trenton and his friend Gare out to come see the YZ300 for the first time in person and ride in the mountains for the first time ever. In fact, Trenton had never been on a plane before this trip. So here is Trenton and Gare seeing the bike for the first time. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> My God! <laughs> looks good in the videos and the pictures, but it looks even better in person. Awesome, man! Ready to get some scratches on it today? Oh yeah! <laughs> Where's the new one? The new man? project new build. There, there, <laughs> there. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> yeah, Bunch of parts in my room. <laughs> I've been trying to follow that too. Awesome. Yeah, how'd you how'd you initially find out about this one? I think that I the first video I saw was a TikTok video. Yeah. And then I went over to your YouTube and started watching videos. And I had like just talked to my buddy, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get a bike. Because <laughs> I haven't had one for a few years. I'm like, I gotta get back into it. Then finally I was like, huh, I should check this out. I looked, I was like, 500 entries? I'm like, that's pretty good odds. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet. You wanna go for a ride? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This thing is amazing. Heck yeah, dude. I'm just glad you like it. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Get it. Oh, <laughs> this is so sick, dude. Yeah. Let her eat, boy. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> the first tip over, let's go. <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. I just came around the corner. I was like, holy <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? Getting arm pumped. Yeah, nice dude. Feels better though. <laughs> Looks like you get a little more comfortable. Uh, it has the top end snap, but it's also got a nice smooth low end power for sure. I'm glad I came out here. I knew I'd be missing something if I didn't. When I was riding still, I, I was like getting ready to maybe ride some C-Class at our local track. We were going like three, four nights a week and I blew that bike up. I wish I'd have never stopped. What's the newest bike you've owned? That 04. By Z250F. Yeah, buddy, let her eat! Uh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Gotcha. I wonder if the air screw might just need a little fit. We are a lot higher than it's it's been at before. Oh, dude, I know why it won't idle. We lost the air screw. Backed all the way out and fell out. That's wild. That's a new one for me. Um, the good news is Reed has a YZ250 that's out of commission right now, and we're going to steal his. That would make sense why it's not idling. <laughs> I wonder when that happened, because it was idling most of the ride, right? Yeah, in the beginning. It must have just rattled out. Maybe not enough spring tension. Yeah. It shouldn't be a problem for being able to ride it back, but you'll just have to stay on the right. on the throttle. It must have been pretty recent because I feel like it was idling fine for the majority of this ride. Yeah, I just noticed it on the downhill. Yeah. What is a new bike without some surprises? Right. <laughs> Way to be! Yeah. 
One sore hip and a broken brake handle. Day one of riding was an overall success, and it was awesome watching Trenton's comfort level on the bike improve throughout the day. The YZ300 did great, although somehow the air screw worked its way out of the carb and a crash resulted in a broken front brake lever. Trenton and I took a quick trip to Blitz Motorsports to buy a brake lever and bar risers, and then we headed to go watch some friends race the local arena cross. After music on main and grabbing dinner, Trenton and Gare headed back to the hotel, and I prepped the YZ for the following day of riding. I stole Reed's air screw, thanks Reed, and swapped the pilot jet along with installing those bar risers and brake lever. Day two, how you feeling? Pretty good. Ready to rip? Yeah, for sure. Let's get it. Another beautiful day here in Montana. What's up, boo? Right, first time riding single track in the mountains, baby. Hooting and hollering at your blind, dude. Oh. Pick the wheel up, nice jump through that puddle. That was sick. What do you think? It's pretty sweet. Woohoo! Oh. Good? Yeah. Lay her down in that corner. I just washed out a little, yeah. Front wheel? Yep. Nice work, man. I've learned that I much prefer to go uphill than downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Happy with your dose of Montana riding? Oh my god. I I'm not this is something I even if I lose my mind when I get old, I will never forget this. <laughs> no way. Oh dude. Stoked it all worked out. <laughs> With two epic days in the mountains under his belt on the YZ300, it was time for Trenton and Gare to begin the trek home. The plan was to rent Trenton a pickup truck, but long story short, he ended up with a Chevy Trailblazer. I gave Trenton the choice to have the bike shipped or try to drive it home in the Trailblazer, and that's what we ended up doing. Once the YZ was disassembled just enough to try our hand at getting it in the car, Gare and Trenton each did their first fender chug and signed the fender. Oh, we even put your number on there. Yeah, dude. I'll just put 69 on there. That works, Typical. Dude. After honestly not too much trouble and a little bit of Tetris skills, we had packed the entire YZ, extra parts, and Trenton and Gare's belongings into the back of this small SUV for their 18-hour drive back home to Wisconsin. Well, Trenton, not the way you expected the YZ to be going home, huh? No, but I'm glad it is. Feeling good about it? <laughs> yep. Let's go. She's all in there. Ready to rip, just uh, some assembly required. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we closed out the trip by shutting down the bars in downtown Bozeman, followed by some damn good Tarantino's pizza. Trenton and Gare, it was so great to meet both of you, and I'm so glad the bike went to such a deserving winner. This was an unbelievable experience for me as well. I hope you enjoy the road trip home and keep racking up hours on that meter once you get the YZ put back together. I'm even more excited now to keep working on the CR250 build and I'm looking forward to meeting the next winner. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to everyone who entered to win the YZ300. Each and every one of you helped make it possible for Trenton to win this bike. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along with the CR250 build and if you'd like to get entered to win the CR250, that link will be on screen and in the description.